We are so happy to have Greg Cooper, as yes. we talked about, the general manager of Love860.com. Start yes. thinking about that, Love860.com. Uh -huh. You can learn a lot there. We and used I, to call it Love886, I believe, that right? That's correct. It's now 860, that so just correct. remember that. It's 860. Welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> to seniors today. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You Thank are you. not there yet, but as we told you, if you just keep living, <laughs> you will arrive. My well, folks where I come from used to say, keep saying good morning. Uh-huh. And you will get there eventually. Yes, exactly. Right. So thank you, you. you. Thank you for having me. Tell you us a little bit about you. What? How, how did you get to Atlanta? And have you always lived here? I have not. I okay. came to Atlanta by way of South Florida, mm -hmm. born and raised, lived there all of my life, um, grew up right around the beach. So getting to Atlanta in about April, and there were tornadoes everywhere. Oh, yes. And then it turns Cold. 95 million degrees, and then oh, it turns 30 okay. degrees. So <laughs> still getting a little bit adjusted. But no, originally from Florida and just got to Atlanta a little bit less than a year ago, and absolutely love the city. Love it. You know, God did make four seasons, though. <laughs> and he wanted you to enjoy them all. Not in Florida, he didn't, no. There's only and, one. And I hate to say it, but you know, it's really true. If you want to go to heaven, you have to come through Atlanta. Sounds like a plan. Uh -huh. I agree. And, and you're, you're almost there. So, I like what you said that the primary objective of life is not material gain, but meaningful service. That just speaks volumes to me. Without question. And, and it comes down to a very simple philosophy. Um, and I have to give credit to some very special people in my life who've helped me to see this. But it's very simple. Some things matter. Mm -hmm. Most things don't. Mm -hmm. But there are some things that really matter, and one of the things that really matters is the cross. And That's without right. that, what, what else do we have? So. And you right. belong to West End? I am a member of the West End Church of Christ, who uh, happens to have a program, Minister Orpheus Hayward. Yes. Has a program on WATC he Sunday does. nights at 10 p.m. So, yeah, very proud member of, of, the, of the West End Church of Christ, yes. That's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. Well, you uh, have learned a lot in your Christian walk with the Lord, of how good God is and everything. But let's get down here to what is your job right now. Tell us about your work there, and then we're going to go on up to what is your dream job. That's, that's what you can answer. I have been blessed to be the general manager of uh, Love 860 WAEC, and we also have a second radio station here in Atlanta, which is AM 1100 WWWE. Uh, and we have affectionately termed that Atlanta's International Talk Radio. So I guess we can chat a little bit about both of them. But okay. uh, WAEC is a heritage radio station both in Atlanta and in the United States of America. It was originally on the air, 860, as WERD, mm -hmm. which happens to have the distinction of being the first African-American-owned radio station in the United States of America. Is that right? It is. It is. Well, Ironic good. that we just celebrated Dr. Martin Luther King's birthday just a couple of days ago. Mm -hmm. um, and the station actually started underneath his office. Oh, From what I'm told, he actually had a microphone that, that led down to his office and he would tap on the ceiling to let them know he wanted to go on the air. So How about that? the heritage is just unmatched. And it started out as the first gospel station in Atlanta, the mm -hmm. first religious talk station in Atlanta, and the first station to play contemporary Christian music. So. Mm -hmm. A lot of heritage that we're very, very proud of. Today mm -hmm. we are Atlanta's inspirational talk radio. Uh -huh. So we feature a wide variety of ministry programs, uh, programs from, from local ministries and national ministries. Programs that also feature health, music, entertainment, lifestyle, and we really want to be an inspiration to everyone in the Atlanta community. I know you are. I, I'm not getting to listen to it like I need mm -hmm. to, but I'm going to keep it in my mind. 8:60 a.m. or uh, love 860.com. Or love mm -hmm. eight. Right on the web. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So it is a talk show. It is. It's a, it's a talk. We are primarily a talk station, um, but but I think we need a lot more than that in life, and that's a lot of our show hosts understand that. So it's a, there's a wide variety of programming, uh, a lot of music, a lot of mm -hmm. entertainment, a lot of events, mm -hmm. um, and again, primarily ministry programs. Uh, but again, yes, you're absolutely right. Do you so do interviews talk. with people? Is that what you Without do? Without question, absolutely, mm -hmm. okay. absolutely. Um, community leaders, yes. uh, obviously, many, many pastors on mm -hmm. the on the radio on the radio station. So, wide variety of programming because, of, as you well know, if we're going to be healthy people, we have to be well rounded. Yes. So, being well rounded means that we need spirituality, we need health, we need edu education, we need music, we need mm -hmm. entertainment. Sometimes, so mm -hmm. very, very well rounded programming. We like That's that. That's what we do here. <laughs> and that's why we are partners in pointing them exactly. to the cross. Exactly. That's right. Absolutely. Exactly. And Absolutely. that's what we are doing individually, Miss Pat. Yes. Absolutely. And Mr. Greg. Absolutely. We are uh, taking care of the temple. He said we are the temple. And I know that the Creator intends for us to take care of His temple. Without question. 
And so we're all working on it more and more. Without question. Go ahead now and tell, tell us more now about uh, the dream job. Well, what does that mean? You know what? That, that's a good question. I think I remember you asked that. We, we, we talked a little bit about that as we were preparing for this. And I'll tell you the truth. I've thought about it a lot. The one thing that I would love to do is to continue to have a job where my entire life was devoted to serving others. Mm. Because if we look at it, and the program is called Seniors Today, once we get to a point where we get, you know, we get older in life and we start to look back, what else do we have mm -hmm. but the time that we spent helping someone else and the relationships, the relationships we developed. So that, I think, is the absolute ideal dream job. And I think we're close. We're very close right now because what we get to do every day is present programming to people that encourages and yes. inspires in so many different ways. So um, to have the opportunity just to serve, I think, would be the absolute dream job. For you to know that at your age, that's tremendous. That is great. So you can continue that and, and keep on going and, and do that exact thing so when you reach our age, you will have accomplished a lot. Thank you. And hopefully the idea is to hopefully be able to do that, accomplish that, and pass it on to someone else. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you very yeah. much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. A little bit about and, and um, the, the station, by the way, is, is um, owned by Beasley Broadcast Group, our, our parent company. The Beasleys have 50 years in broadcasting. And there are two stations, just briefly, so that everyone knows. The other station is AM 1100, which is Atlanta's international talk radio. Mm -hmm. So we feature a wide variety of cu cultural, ethnic programming, new music, new art artists, really a station that has had um, an interesting identity. It's been Spanish programming. There's a lot of different uh, cultures on the radio station, and we're very, very excited about the new direction that station is heading in as well. So AM 1100 and AM 860, amazing programming for this community. So we're very, very excited about that. It sounds right. like that you're covering the cultures and all the people in Atlanta, that uh, there's something there for everybody. Something for everyone mm -hmm. and absolutely that, and that is the best thing that you can do absolutely to serve in the community absolutely all over so well who's been a, a big influence in your life i would be remiss if i didn't say my mom mm -hmm. yeah she's she's the foundation she really is um really invested heavily in myself and my my five siblings and and really, really taught us the meaning of, of love, to tell you the absolute truth. That's Just how correct. to give, and that's mm. the foundation of who I am. So she's been the, the driving force, and certainly, you know, my, my faith. I mean, mm -hmm. if you look to, look to Christ's example, mm -hmm. I mean, he showed us, he, he gave us a very simple example of how to live. We mm -hmm. try to make it complicated, I think, sometimes, yeah, but mm -hmm. it's pretty simple. It's really about obedience and service, so. Yes. Do you, you know. want to talk about legacy a little bit more? <sighs> Yeah, as a matter of fact, we, we are. As a matter of fact, God has given us um, a vision for, for doing some things that are going to be very, very special. I've been in the entertainment industry pretty much all of my life. Radio, done some television, um, video production, which we, we talked about a little bit. Actually ran mm -hmm. a video production company for a while. But right. really have had the idea of taking um, my faith and all the experiences that, that we've had and putting them into some type of multimedia production that the world will be able to experience and enjoy. So mm -hmm. working on that very diligently, prayerfully, and hopefully we'll have something to show you perhaps in the very near future. Good. Yeah. Well, when you finish it, you come back and we will definitely have it here for <laughs> seniors today. We'll talk about that. We because, will. Because, uh, you know, we're all going to leave a legacy. Without we're, question. We yeah. need to. Without question. Uh, to, to come to this planet and to not make a difference. Right. I think it's probably, that, that, that probably is a little bit of a shame. We ought it to, is. we come here, we ought to be able to make a difference and say that we left the world a little bit better place than we found it. That's mm -hmm. right. That's exactly. exactly right. And if we preach that message and you preach that message, mm -hmm. I hope and pray that it will get around to everybody that needs to hear so mm -hmm. that we can, uh, that we can make a difference. We're trying to, and especially our youth especially young yes. people, especially young people. Yes, I mean, the, exactly. the message, I think, seems to be so much lost. We get so lost, mm -hmm. and it has to be about fame and about money. Mm -hmm. And we forget that it really is about people and about relationships and service. Mm -hmm. And about hope. Right. Mm -hmm. And they don't have so many examples. You know, that's sad to say, but you are a good example, so we can mm -hmm. tell them that they're not all gone. They're just not looking around sometimes. Mm -hmm. But they they are seemingly lost, you know, and in, in out there. And like you say, it's all about, oh, the cell phones and the, the movies and Facebook, Facebook, and they don't even talk to their parents. And, I mean, mm -hmm. my, my grandson will text me from downstairs to upstairs, <laughs> me upstairs. It's crazy. Should, it should be illegal to text someone that you're in the same house. 
same house. That you are in the same really? household. Yeah, that should not be. That's not right. Oh it really my is. lord! So, I can't believe yeah. what we're coming to. And it's one of the blessings of radio because radio originally was a medium that allowed people to really connect. I mean, it was one person maybe sitting somewhere in New York or Chicago, mm -hmm. and you were in Iowa or San Francisco, mm -hmm. and this one person was keeping you company. And one yes. of the amazing things that we do with the radio station is we still have that dynamic. It's still one of the last yes. mediums where you mm -hmm. have people who really want to reach out and connect with you. And so we have a wide variety of so many wonderful people, our staff and the show hosts on the radio stations, who really want to connect. They want to bring good information. They want to connect with you. They want to help you. They want to serve. And that's one of the things that we are really so proud of about both of our radio stations. Well, do you have call-ins? Do people call you Absolutely, at the station? Absolutely. Certainly. Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness, please. Uh, yeah, yes. we, I'm sure you know, the website, again, is love860.com. But a number of our shows allow our listeners to call in and mm -hmm. ask questions about their spiritual concerns, mm -hmm. call in for prayer, call in and get help with such a wide variety of things. So absolutely, yes. please mm -hmm. call us. We would love to have you. Okay, oh, before you leave, tell us about the biblical character that you admire the most. David. David. Without uh -huh. question. David. Um, man after God's own heart. Yes. Certainly a man that, that had some struggles and challenges in life, but always found a way to get to God and to, to, to really touch his heart. He and, was a worshiper. And just a worshiper, a singer, had a, a real passionate man, mm -hmm. um, very compassionate, and just, just my absolute my, the gold standard for me as, as a man of faith. So, mm -hmm. without question, absolutely be David. That's, that's good. He, he's, he's, a, he's a good one to go to <laughs> try to be like, you know, except to leave out the, the problems you, he you, had, you, the you mistakes. Try to want, you want to try to avoid Learn those, from right? the mistakes. Exactly. You, you just don't want to go there. Exactly. We, well, do you have right. a family here in Atlanta? I, it's just me. God just picked me you. up out of South Florida and put me here okay. to oh, work. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. to work for not, the kingdom. We don't need to advertise that. I don't no, guess you have. Okay. <laughs> not right at the moment. Not no. at the moment. You're not right there. You're probably married to the radio station. At the moment, that's probably my... But now Betty's a pretty good matchmaker. Is she? So, oh, I can. So if you, yeah, want, so if you want that, that, you know, well, just let her well, know. You know, we'll, we'll put that out there quietly, uh, Betty. Quietly. <laughs> quietly. Very, very quietly. <laughs> the only thing that I can encourage you to know about the radio station is that you think about the commute that these people that are watching us right now, that are still working. Right. The commute in Atlanta is the longest of anywhere yes. in America. Have you heard mm -hmm. that? I have, you know what? That's the one thing I got right because I live really close to the radio station. Well, yes. you got that right. Mm. Uh, but the rest of us us that you know to drive 12 miles takes you 40 minutes to get there it's that's unreal. kind of ridiculous yes and so we have a lot of time for the radio so all of you out there we're saying it one more time love 860 yes. a.m and the other one is 11 it's 1100 right uh -huh. close Absolutely. neighbors 860 and 1100 go there for a while call them <laughs> say i saw you greg talk to yes. him and he'll love for uh -huh. you to call him and talk to him so go there and get with God bless you. Yes. You are an so inspiration much. to the kingdom of God. Thank, Thank you so much for being on. Keep up the good Thank work. You. Thank Keep you. Thank you. Keep it up. You've Thank got you. the right idea.